Welcome. In this video, we'll be going through the steps to create a BW query in the Eclipse based query designer. In this example, I'll be creating a top 10 customers query based on sales order data. In the HANA Studio, go to File, New, BW Query. Enter the info provider which you are basing your query on. Enter a technical name and description for your query. Click Finish. There are five tabs associated with the query. The General tab allows you to maintain the name and runtime settings associated with the query. The Filter tab allows you to define static or variable filter values. The Sheet Definition tab is where you can define the layout of your query. The Conditions tab allows you to define filter criteria based on a key figure. For example, only show sales greater than $1,000. The Exceptions tab allows you to define threshold values. Data that varies from these thresholds is highlighted in the colour or marked with icons. The details of the info provider you are basing your query on is copied to the Info Provider tab. Firstly, we would define the layout of the query. To do this, go to the Sheet Definition tab. You can build the initial layout of your query by moving characteristics and key figures to the columns, rows or three characteristics containers. In this example, I will add business partner to my rows. You will notice that the default properties of the field have been copied to the properties container. You can update these by clicking on the relevant edit button. In this case, I will change the description of my field from business partner to customer. I will now add item amount to the columns section of my query. Again, you will notice that the default properties are now available for the field amount. As item amount is a key figure, the properties are specific to number related settings and functions. On the general tab, I will update the name of the field. On the Conversion tab, I have the option of defining currency translation. In this case, I would like my report displayed in Australian dollars. Find AUD and click OK. On the Calculations tab, I can define the aggregation settings. In this case, I want to hide the result even if the result line is displayed. To do this, select Hide in the Calculate Result As option. I'll also add Product, Region, Sales Rep and Supplier to my free characteristics. I will now add a characteristic filter to the report. To do this, go to the Filter tab. Select the characteristic you would like to filter on and move it to the Fixed Values container. In this case, I will filter on Region. Right click Region and select Restrict. You can restrict on values or a variable. In this case, I will filter on the central region. Click OK.
The query I am creating should show the top 10 customers based on sales data. To create the top 10 criteria, I will need to create a condition. Go to the Conditions tab. On the Conditions container, right-click New Condition. Enter a name. Now add a parameter. Enter the comparison operator and a value. In this case I am using top n and the value 10. Click OK. Under the Assignments tab, select the characteristic which you would like to base your condition on. In this case, we are using Customer. When you are happy with the definition of your query, save it by clicking File, Save. You can preview the data using the Data Preview button. You can also access the query using a data visualization tool like SAP Lumera. In Lumera, select the connection to the SAP Business Warehouse. Select your system and click Connect. Find your query and click Create. In Lumera you can create different visualizations of the data using the chart builder. Thank you for viewing this video. For more articles, videos and information, please visit the EDW Product Management Community page.